What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel today. It's gonna be a fun day. Got some, some stuff planned and we have a special guest that I'm going to be seeing later on. Right now I got the Evo back here, getting ready to start it up. It's been almost a month since I last started the Evo. So I'm hoping I have no issues driving it today because it's been a while since I've showed it some love. But you don't, you don't love me anymore. Just checked over the oil and everything looks good to go. So I'm gonna start it up. Hopefully we have no issues. But before we get started with today's video, guys, be sure you to hit the bell icon so that way you always get notified when I upload a new video. I'm uploading now weekly, so don't miss out. And I also want to mention, I have tons of new merch on my website, www.joannagmarie.com. Be sure to check it out. So here we have the Evo. This thing is so dirty and dusty. I feel so bad. I don't really show this thing enough love. But I'm going to have tons of updates coming. I have a new exhaust that I still have to install and tons of other, other things. So be on the lookout this month. I'm going to be doing a lot of content with the Evo. I still have tons of car parts for sale. So again, check out my website. A lot of this stuff will be listed. And anything that you see here that is not listed on the website, be sure to email me below if interested. So today, kind of just going with the flow of things. I don't really have much planned, but we're going to be meeting someone later on and i can't wait it's gonna be my first time actually meeting her as well so we should be getting a lot of good content today and let's see if this evo starts up guys i'm a little nervous because it's been a while and i don't know i've been having battery issues but i just replaced it not too long ago so let's see how the car starts moment of truth you can hear it so that means that means we got power going there we go go ahead and let the fuel pump prime yeah, so let's see. It's alive! Yay! We're back. I'm excited. And I left this thing on a full tank from the last time I drove it. So that is good news. So I thought I was going to have to go get E85. But it looks like we're good. So let me let the car warm up. And then we'll hit the road to go meet our special guest. Before we continue with today's video, guys, I'd like to mention that I've partnered up with Ridge Wallet to offer you all an amazing deal. You can save 10% off by using my promo code, Joanna Marie. You can check it in the link in the description below. These products, guys, are absolutely incredible. As you guys can see here, I have my old wallet versus my new Ridge Wallet. What a difference. I mean, look at the difference in sizing. This thing is humongous compared to this nice durable sleek wallet that i can pretty much fit anywhere when i'm working out i can put it in my pocket this thing is nice guys and as y'all can see i chose carbon fiber because i love my carbon fiber and all of the accessories that i have are in carbon fiber as well this wallet is so durable it has a sleek nice design and did i mention that this wallet has a lifetime warranty guys truly amazing you guys can check it out and be sure to give it a try they have so many different accessories that you can add on to the wallet. I'd also like to mention that this wallet holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. I don't even think my humongous wallet here can even hold 12 cards. Last thing I'd like to mention is that the Ridge wallet comes with RFID blocking technology so you don't have to worry about those digital pickpocketers. The Ridge wallet team is so confident that you are going to love the wallet that they actually let you test drive it. You can have this wallet for up to 45 days. If you don't like it, send it back. But I guarantee you guys, you're going to love it. Huge shout out to Ridge wallet for giving me the opportunity to partner with them and give you guys this deal. So don't miss out. Check the link in the description below. Let's continue with today's video. Many hours later. All right, guys. So a few hours later, I told you guys that I had some guests that I'm going to be meeting. And uh, What's up? she's here. Here's Molly all the way from Ohio. Yeah. So if you guys have not heard of her or checked out her YouTube channel, be sure to do so. What's your YouTube just for those? Motorsports Molly. Motorsports Molly. Molly was really big into the domestic world, I feel like. And uh, I started off with the muscle cars and the Mustang. Yes, you started off with the Mustang. And we've been following each other for I don't even know how many years now. 
It's been a while. It's been a while. We've been following each other for a while, and this is our first time meeting. She's here visiting in Orlando. And we also have Billy. I'm sure you guys have heard of his channel as well. Billy, what's your channel? Street Racing Channel. Street Racing Channel. Really great content. Tons of racing and stuff like that in Ohio. I'll have to go over there one day and visit one of Definitely. Them. It's a bit warmer. Yeah. I don't know if I'm built for that cold weather. In the summer, it's really nice there. Yeah. yeah. That'll be really cool. So you guys are here all the way from Ohio. They brought the Supra down, as you guys can see. Yep. Super Just nice. A little fun vacation. Just a vacation, but I was like, man, I, when I saw they were here, I had to hit them up. So we're doing a little collab right now. We just took some pictures, me and Molly. So be sure to check out our Instagram so you guys can see the photos. We got TJ over here. TJ, say what's up. The photographer, TJ's a really great photographer. Also check out his Instagram and stuff as well. Um, so we're just going with the flow right now. Yep. We're gonna probably go to another try location. To go to another location. And then if we make it there, we're gonna try to get some E85, maybe do some cruising. Yes, for sure. I wanna take them downtown, do some cruising down there so they can see. And maybe we can get a little, <laughs> little friendly run in. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> that would be sure. cool. So let's see if we make it to the next location and hopefully it'll get kicked out. Um, and we'll just go from there. We'll see where the night takes us. Quick little update. What are you guys doing in here? We're out of fuel. Uh, I think we're out of gas. <laughs> we, we're definitely out of fuel. We made it to the next light and then it, it kept stumbling to the point where it won't run. So. Well, now I have an excuse to give you guys a ride. So yeah. <laughs> let's go get some E85 and a little ride along. A little ride along. <laughs> yeah, this traffic out here is crazy. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I don't really deal with it because I stay on my little side of town, to be honest. I don't blame you. needs fuel tonight so we're having an adventurous night here we we're supposed to be taking pictures doing some pools doing some some stuff with her super in my car yeah. they ran out of fuel came to the first gas station no e85 the app failed us so be sure to call before you look for e85 in orlando yeah. are you good back there <laughs> so now we're headed to our next gas station which we called and supposedly they do have it so we're just we're just going with the flow, like I said. We'll see where the night takes us. I just hope that the fuel goes in your car and you guys have like no issues after that. Yeah, yeah. no so, more wild goose chase. Yeah, they pretty much have the same, similar setup I have with the Haltech Dash and all that, but they don't have their reader connected for the fuel tank to read, like how much fuel's in there. So you guys are kind of winging it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're thinking that's the issue, so we'll see. We get to go on the highway. Finally made it to an E85 station. Finally freaking made it. I had to drive like here. 45 minutes. And then Joanna almost ran out of fuel. Literally, could you imagine? That would have been real effed up. Yeah. <laughs> so we're 
gonna be running with five fuel jugs. <laughs> yeah, I might get some more if they got more in there. <laughs> They're only two gallon. Will we have enough? I mean, eight gallons should get it to half a tank. <laughs> should we probably get it to here? Drive it to here. Yeah. If they got any more, I might grab another. What a night. We really have not got to do much other than search for gasoline all night, but it's been pretty awesome hanging out with them and giving them a ride in the Evo, even though I didn't even get to do any crazy pulls because I'm running low on fuel as well. And now we are gonna have like five jugs in the trunk. So I don't even think it's safe to do a pull. I think we're gonna end up calling it a night because it's nine o'clock and your girls will not be a hita. I'm an old lady, I go to bed. This is actually my bedtime room. So I am probably gonna end the vlog here and gonna have to return hopefully more content with them before they leave So be on the lookout. We'll see what we're gonna come up with next um, Tomorrow they're got some plans. So hopefully we can get together again and total, do some stuff. total plus <laughs> Hopefully we can get together again and and do some, some stuff because I didn't even get to ride in the super I was looking forward to doing that as well. So We'll see, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our journey of getting E85 tonight. We'll see what the rest of the night ends up looking like. Um, I, at this point, I just want to get them home safely, so hopefully this fuel works. <sighs> Crazy, but you know what? These are the moments or the times that make great memories. I'm just going with the flow, so it could be a lot worse. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. How's it going back here? <laughs> Savage. You're not gonna put the thing on? Might take a while, but we got it. <laughs> <laughs>